Today I'm going to share a quick and delicious keto chicken curry recipe that you can make using your pressure cooker. Let's make this together. We're going to start by adding two tablespoons of oil into your pressure cooker pan, a half a teaspoon of cumin seeds, one bay leaf, two green cardamoms, one black cardamom, a one inch cinnamon stick, four to five cloves, and one piece of star anise. We are going to stir fry these for 15 to 20 seconds till they become aromatic and next goes in 80 grams of chopped onion. We are going to stir fry this for approximately 1 minute and next goes in 3 large cloves of garlic and a 1 inch piece of ginger finely chopped and we are going to stir fry that for another minute. Next turn down the heat and add half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, 2 teaspoons of coriander powder, a half a teaspoon of cumin powder, 1 teaspoon of Kashmiri red chilli powder, half a teaspoon of normal red chilli powder and 1 teaspoon of garam masala powder. Give it a stir for 15 to 20 seconds, add a splash of water so the masalas don't burn and next add in 180 grams of chopped tomato. Some salt to taste and we are going to stir fry that and quickly place a lid on, not under pressure, place any lid on for 2 minutes so that the tomatoes sweat. Once the tomatoes have softened, you're going to be easily able to press it down with your spatula and make a paste out of it. Add 1 tablespoon of oil and keep frying the tomato onion paste for a minute or so or till it starts to look oily. This paste is going to form the base for our chicken curry gravy guys. Next goes in 1 kilogram of chicken with bones. We are going to stir fry the chicken for at least 5 minutes over medium high heat. Stir fry the chicken with some coriander, chopped up coriander stems guys. It makes the gravy very tasty. And next add in 1.5 cups of water. If you want the gravy thicker, you can add 1 cup of water, some salt to taste and now place the lid on and we are going to pressure cook this for 1 to 2 whistles. It is usually 1 to 2 whistles which is like 15 minutes under pressure. Don't force the lid open wait for all of the pressure to die down and then open the lid only then the chicken is going to be nice and tender guys so pressure cooking done the chicken looks completely cooked through at this point we are going to taste for salt add some more salt if required this is optional but i love to add in a quarter teaspoon of black pepper powder for some kick one tablespoon of ghee add this for sure add in a little bit of lime juice if your tomatoes were tart enough, you may not need lime juice. But definitely add half a tablespoon of crushed fenugreek leaves or kasuri methi. And we're going to finish off with a quarter cup of coriander leaves, guys. This chicken curry is delicious. You can have this with keto roti or keto rice. Enjoy!